six of seven members present. Under communications, Member Nisley. Thank you, Mr. President. We'd like to invite all the citizens in Athens to join us next Tuesday night. That's January 26th at 6.30 p.m. at the Community Center. This is going to be um, the next in a series of town hall meetings. And Mayor Weil and uh, many of the council members have been at the previous town hall meetings. The purpose of this one is for citizens to bring up questions and um, issues that are of concern to them about the city-related matters, and the mayor and some of his staff will be present. So we'd like to invite everybody to come. What time again? 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Community Center Tuesday next Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Member Nisley. Member Sands. Mr. President, I'd um, like to move that we approve, that we accept the auditor's uh, reports for December. Um, Second. Motion and a second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The reports have been accepted. I have two other items. One is to remind people that uh, council tour of the city's fire stations will be held this Saturday. No, I'm sorry. Will be held, yes it is, this Saturday, January 23rd. And since that would be a meeting of council, any... Uh, member of the press or uh, of the community is welcome to join. They are to meet at City Hall at 9 a.m. and uh, they're going to reschedule the other city plants, uh, water treatment and wastewater treatment, uh, probably in February or March, but this Saturday, 9 a.m., meet at City Hall if you'd like to go on a tour of the city's fire stations. And the other item I have is a liquor permit, and it is basically going from uh, Holdings Limited, uh, doing business as the Happy Cat at 207 West Union Street, to basically uh, Happy Cat 207 West Union Street. It looks like it's been reconfigured as a limited liability corporation. Is there anyone that wishes to ask for a hearing? That is Mayor a Boyle. carryout, I believe. I believe that's what that is. Yes. Uh, the uh, it's a D6 right. permit. Oh, really? Okay. They just they signed us as new owner, so okay. they just changed the owners. I think. Okay, so it's just okay. a transfer. Yeah. Okay. It does not look like it's moving, and I don't know of any problems that the city has had with it. Uh, those are it for communications that I have. Any others from council? Reports and communications from other elected officials. Mayor Weil. Um, actually, just to reiterate what uh, Councilmember Nisley has talked about is the town hall meeting, which is, as say, she said, is 26, 630 to 830. It's basically uh, going to be a, a brief report, then an open mic session uh, with the idea of any citizens have concerns and subjects. Um, the intent is not to so much to answer them at that time, but answer them in the future meeting in June. Uh, but to give us a, a thrust of where we're going and how I'm doing or how the city's doing. Um, so it's, a, it's going to be a two-way street and there's no real topic, uh, unlike the last couple of town hall meetings we've had, uh, topic orientation in terms of whether energy or um, comprehensive plan, et cetera. The other uh, notice communication I have is that the uh, Athens City Planning Commission will have a public hearing on February 17th. Uh, that's uh, Wednesday, of course, and it's at 12 p.m. This is a concern we're receiving, uh, would like to receive input uh, from the public regarding the rezoning uh, request of turning the B3 district of North Court to the B2D. This has come up, uh, not perennially, but uh, quite often. So this is a revisit of that whole subject. And what, what, I'd say we'll be taking public comment. What time again? 12 o'clock, noon, the 17th of February. And that's all I have. Thank you, Mayor. City Auditor Kathy Hecht. No report. Law Director Patrick Lang. No report. So we will move on to ordinances for third reading. <coughs> ordinance 0110, an ordinance authorizing design of the Mill Street sewer replacement yes, project number 252. Yes. Member Bain. Mr. President, I'd like to move to a um, table. Second. Second. The reason for the tabling is that we will be straightening out the financing for this and the rest out of the sewer debt funds shortly, as soon as I get into a meeting with Andy and Paul and Paul. Okay. Motion on a second to table. Further discussion on tabling? 
All those in favor of tabling ordinance 0110. Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ordinance has been tabled. Ordinance 0210 is an ordinance authorizing the service safety director to advertise and accept it where necessary. Pardon me, where necessary and enter into contracts for design and construction, engineering, and construction of the Jeff Hill water line, sewer line, and street rehabilitation, project number 251, and declaring an emergency. Uh, who wishes to speak to this member? This is introduced okay. by members Bain and Nisley. Member Nisley. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for adoption of ordinance 0210. Second. And this is, um, as stated in the title, for the design and construction of the Jeff Hill water line. This is made available by Issue 1 fund, uh, Grant Funds. Uh, total project is approximately 225000 And this will authorize the building, design, and construction, and appropriations and expenditure. Is there further discussion? <coughs> All those in favor of adoption of Ordinance 0210? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ordinance has been adopted. And Ordinance 0310 is an ordinance authorizing the service safety director to advertise and accept bids where necessary and enter into contracts for construction engineering and, and construction of the Richland Avenue Improvements Project Number 230 and declaring an emergency. Again, Member Nisley. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for adoption of 0310. Second. And this is also grant funds from Ohio Department of Transportation that makes possible the improvements that um, will be the construction of a roundabout and then repair of the Richland Avenue Bridge. And this ordinance will authorize um, safety service, service safety director to um, advertise and accept the bids for the engineering, construction engineering and the construction of this project. A major change of the face of the city major, of Athens. Major. Further discussion? Yes. Um, can you remind people how much the project is? And it, it's an um, it's five million seventy thousand dollar total project. And how much is it? The city is going to be putting into it for the cost share portion. That I'm not sure of. Twenty percent. Pardon me. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Um, actually, I think it's less than twenty percent. We more. have actually. I think it's close to six million, if my memory is correct on this. I think the five million is actually how much we're getting from the various state agencies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the way I'm reading it right here, basically we have the small cities grant fund five million seventy two uh, seventy thousand two hundred. Um, I know we're going to be taking some 40000 out of the state highway fund. Permissive wheel tax is seventy. dollars um, You can see we also have uh, 627 out of the street rehabilitation. So you can see we've added quite a bit more on that. We already spent some money on the design, of course, in the past year and a half, at least a year and a half, going through the design and the uh, input from the citizens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the uh, majority of it is from outside funding. Uh, we'll be doing the bridge, of course, the roundabout, and then the, uh, the tunnel and the walkway area. I think we'll take it from pretty much the bridge all the way to Derry Lane, I believe. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Further comments? Does that help? Uh, there mm -hmm. on the city, there is a video on, on the construction timetable, the traffic patterns that will be occurring during construction. Uh, I think we're burning some DVDs on that. If people want to grab one of those, if one, somebody needs one, just tell them to come to uh, City Hall. I really encourage people to do that that has not seen it. It's really a a job well done to try to explain what is going on and all the implications mm -hmm. of Thanks, Scott and uh, Captain yeah. Pyle and uh, Andy Stone. Yes. And that is on the public access? Yes. Correct. Thank you, Bob. I think that's a great use of public access. Yeah. To give people I think up. we're getting better and better at figuring out what we can do with this to improve communication. Are there other comments on Ordinance 0310? All those in favor of the ordinance? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ordinance has been adopted. We're getting a roundabout. Ordinance 0410, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to extend the current contract with Lakefront Lines, Inc., and declaring an emergency. Again, Member Nisley. Mr. President, I move for adoption of 0410. Second. This is, will authorize the mayor to extend the, con the current contract that we have with Lakefront Lines, and this is part of our what's called our interurban um, transportation that we provide. The current route is between Athens and Columbus, Ohio. And so this is to extend the, the current contract with them. Mm -hmm. 
Further comments? All those in favor of Ordinance 0410? Aye. Opposed? The ordinance has been adopted. Ordinance 0610 is an ordinance amending Ordinance 14609, authorized staff and level. Member Sands. Mr. President, I, I move that we um, adopt Ordinance 0610. Second. This ordinance um, actually doesn't uh, change any staffing levels, but it uh, amends the pay scale for our um, interns in various offices and seasonal workers in particular at the, um, at the community center and, and the rec department. Mayor this, Weil. This is to actually put, if you notice it, it actually says minimum wage. So it's, it's actually estimating that the, assuming that the minimum wage will change over time rather than have to reschedule it and rewrite it each time. Um, also uh, mentioned is the recreation assistant director, the mix I'm sorry, funding mix yeah. has changed too. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right, the assistant director, um, the, uh, the pay mix is, is um, divided between the community center and the recreation department now, where it was not earlier. Okay. Other comments? All those in favor of adoption of Ordinance 0610? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ordinance is, is adopted. Ordinance 0710 is an ordinance granting a revocable license to Anthony Ferryon, owner of 6 Mill Iron Street, for use of a city right of way for offense. Number your call. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I ask for adoption of 0710, please. Second. Second. Um, this is a, a straightforward uh, granting of a revocable license for a, um, a fence that's in the front of um, 6 Mill Iron Street. Um, the property owner has requested it to stop traffic from driving across his lawn. Um, all the paperwork and everything has been filled out appropriately, and there was no real comment from neighbors or anything. Not too Further comments on ordinance? Yes, Member Sands. Just to, to mention that this is a revocable license, and our life of revocable license is run for, for a current of ten, uh, a term of 10 years, unless there's some problem. Um, and we've begun to see some of the original revocable licenses come back for um, pretty much easy approval through council. Right. So it's not a big deal. It just gives us a chance to look at the issue again. Right. And just to let council know, you're going to be getting some more pretty soon that came out of some meetings that, uh, well, I had uh, with the uh, service safety director, but uh, the uh, code enforcement office is real good about flagging those and sending them back to council. And I guess we'll have this yeah, year's yeah. worth pretty shortly. So we'll have something to mull over in your committee. Is there further discussion on Ordinance 0710? All those in favor of the ordinance? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ordinance has been adopted. We move on to ordinances for second reading. Ordinance 0810 is an ordinance amending the 2010 appropriation ordinance. Member Sands? Uh, first, Mr. President, I'd like to um, ask that we could amend Ordinance 0810. If you get a second, okay. you can. Okay. Um, in Section 2 of Ordinance 0810, we're going to add uh, uh, a couple of uh, appropriations. One addition is $5,000 to the Cable Access Fund to replace the air conditioning unit in the server room. We heard the mayor talk about this at our last committee, that um, this was necessary to keep the equipment cool. Um, and we're also going to add seven hundred and fifty dollars to the recreation fund uh transaction class 600 for refunds um this is refunds for um people who for whatever reason need their money back for a, a program or so and this was run by the the director and this amount seems fine with him also um we're going to reduce an amount in the very last um, appropriation in Section 2. The Water Debt Fund, we had an 800,000 um, number there. We're going to change that to $320,000. This is the Curtis Mulligan Water Improvements uh, project, which is winding up now. The, the balance of that 
800,000 was already expended in in 2009. So we're just this is the current year's expenditure. So those are the three amendments to this ordinance. Further discussion on the amendments as stated. All those in favor of the amendment. Aye. 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 Opposed? Ordinance 0810 has been amended. And then, Mr. President, I would like to move that we consider Ordinance 0810 under suspension of the rules. Second. Um, several of these um, funds need to be available sooner rather than later. For instance, the, the cable access money for the server room, um, they need to get that done. It's non-functioning now. Um, Curtis Mulligan is winding up now, so we need to have that money available to, to uh, pay for that activity. So um, I would move that we consider this under suspension of the rules. Further discussion that. on suspension only. All those in favor of suspending the rules for 0810? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The rules are suspended. Mr. President, I move adoption of Ordinance 0810. Second. Second. Um, for all the reasons we've talked about. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ordinance is adopted. Now we move on to ordinances for first reading. Ordinance 0910 is an ordinance closing a portion of Court Street from Union to State on Saturday, May 15, 2010, from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the International Street Fair. Member Butler. Thank you, Mr. President. This is an annual event which has been occurring in the City of Athens for a number of years. Uh, it's anticipated by community members, students, and faculty. It's an exciting event in which we collaborate with uh, the university, specifically the Office of International Student and Faculty Services and the International Student Union at Ohio University. So this is a safety issue to close the street down um, for, the, for this particular event, the International Street Fair. Um, as noted, the uh, intersections at the uh, will be open, the cross intersections for fire lanes and fire access safety issues there as well. Um, as you noted, the dates, uh, the date for this is May 15th, and we did. There was a request for this to be bumped up a little bit earlier uh, to 7 a.m. Previously had been 9 a.m. and I think the city service safety director was aware of that as well and and uh, was checking with the yeah, department. It has to do with setup times. That's Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Is there a further discussion on Ordinance 09? Ordinance 1010, an ordinance amending the Athens City Code Title 23 Zoning Code, Chapter 23.04, permitted uses in R2 residential zones, one family, and Title 99 definitions, Chapter 99.01.05, applied meanings of words and terms. Member Fall. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is to change uh, the zoning code, well, the city code, Title 23 zoning code um, in R1 residential zones to uh, make gardens, um, domestic animal gardening for non-commercial uses, uh, permitted accessory use as opposed to a conditionally permitted use, meaning that people who have front gardens and such um, growing vegetables and do not have to go in front of the uh, to get a conditional permit um, going in front of the Zoning Board of Appeals and that it's a permitted use. Um, the different sections have been altered um, and a definition has been included for domestic animals. Do I, people want me to read it or? There has been a um, public hearing on the recommended changes both in the Planning Commission and in the Council. Very good. I would like to just point out that uh, there is a typo in Ordinance 1010 that the law director is yeah, on the agenda. I'm, on the agenda. I'm sorry, okay. that we are recognizing as such. Where it says R2 on your agenda, it should say R1. Okay. Is there further discussion on Ordinance 1010? Yes, sir. Yes, Member Butler. Thank you. I just might add as well as a reminder to everyone that um, input on this came from the town hall meetings earlier last year from community members who had uh, an interest in, in seeing the uh, current code um, cleaned up a little bit. I just wanted to throw it out there. I think I saw a hand over here, Member Sands. I was 
just wondering why we say caged birds and we don't cage our chinchillas and ferrets. Because some people do have their ferrets and, sin and chinchillas run. I think caged birds is a kind of um, pet but a lot nomenclature. Of people, okay. So. A lot of people keep, I let their birds run, fly, they don't run around the house, they fly around the house. Anyway, I just, um, that seems strange. Well, the, part of this um, language was adopted from Portsmouth. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> that's good. so I, I, that's a logical. Okay. Well, so. Further discussion, Mayor Weil. Um, does cage birds mean chickens? Uh, I was wondering who was going to do it. <laughs> and the other question I have is, uh, I was taking a fast glance at the recommendation of this, and uh, the recommendation that we put, the City Planning Commission put forward is a little bit different. I don't know if it's. Um, I mean, we're trying to put gardens in our ones without, you know, conditional requirements. Uh, but at the same time, the definitions is an addition. Does that require a supermajority or I see a nod from our mm -hmm. clerk of council. Okay. So that's the question I had, how, how different it is. It does not have to be a significant difference. Well, well it, it was might the, be if you the the require a supermajority. Putting in the definition. Oh. It is. is it in 99? 99 isn't in Title 23. Oh, we have to, we have to amend 23 too. 23 also? Okay. Okay. Section 3. Okay. Pardon me for talking without being recognized. What's new? So that's something we think about when we go to vote. Well, Mayor, we will try to make sure that we've come to uh, a level of peace with your concerns by next reading. How about that? Okay. Okay. Hi. Any other comments? On to Ordinance 1110, an ordinance revoking the revocable license granted to Ohio University for use of the Morris Avenue City right of way pursuant to Ordinance 013305. Member Paul. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. This is um, right now a revocable license has been granted to Ohio University, um, and it will not be used in the foreseeable future by Ohio University. Um, I think that it's in the best interest of the city to um, revoke the revocable license at this point so that paperwork and um, it's, everything's clean and that it's not sitting out there just kind of in the nether regions of, of revocable license granting and right of ways and stuff. Other comments? Yes. yes. Remember and it's a considerable amount of land that's in that part of the city. city. So I think it's yeah, a good idea. I think it's going to get Other comments? Member Sands. And the license was granted specifically for use of the proposed um, um, residential, um, what do I want to say? Continuing facility. Care. So Continuing. Residential facility that was, that was being planned for, for that area, which the plans um, are, are gone now. So. It's hard to believe that's been five years. It is, yeah. yeah. Time for okay. Us. Any other comments? Ordinance 1210, an ordinance authorizing the mayor to submit an application and execute an agreement with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources for a recreational trails grant and declaring an emergency. Member Nisley. Thank you, Mr. President. This proposal will authorize the mayor to submit a application for a grant that would extend our bike path and this is part of a phased project phase one will be to get um, it's designed to go across the bridge towards university estates um, and then phase two will be later for the land across the bridge um, Council Member Bain had a question last week about the environmental uh, checklist, and that will be submitted um, to the State Historic Preservation Office as part of the application process. And Council Member Fall, I know you ha usually have a question about cost share. So this is an 80-20 um, uh, uh, shared expense on the grant. So 20% match will be provided by the city for the total cost of the project. And um, Public Works Director Andy Stone anticipates the cash outlay for the city will be less than $50,000. Member Nisley, I've been alerted by the clerk that the grant deadline is February 1, 2010, so I think we probably need to ask for 
Suspension of the rules. Mr. President, I ask to suspend the rules on 1210. Second. second. Thank you. Motion and, and a second, and I guess for the reasons just stated. Correct. That a February 1 due date needs, means that we need to pass this ordinance tonight. Is there further discussion on suspension? All those in favor of suspending the rules on 1210? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The rules are suspended. Mr. President, I move to for adoption of Ordinance 1210. Second. Second. And this will get us moving along on another extension for our bike path, which is an important part of our city transportation. And a grant to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Mayor Weil. And this is a spur coming from off of the East State Street Park area. It's uh, the hope is to go across the bridge, the train trestle bridge that we own there. West State. Uh, West, State. West, State. West State. Did I say East? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. West State Street okay. Park area. And there's a train trestle there that uh, before it goes towards the White Mill Falls. And at that point, to link up uh, eventually with the University of States Armitage Road, and eventually to the uh, Moonville Tunnel, Benton County area. Hopefully, if that's far in the future, but the idea is to span the river. As it stands now, to get up to that side of the, the river, you have to go on Union Street, which is not bad, but this is more convenient and safer. And it really does open up more than just University of States. So yes, on the road in general. Exactly. And zigzag all the way to Plains, if need be, eventually. And the Nelson Bill. Further yeah. comments? All those in favor of adoption of Ordinance 1210? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ordinance has been adopted. On to announcements and other business. What announcements or committee meetings or anything? Aha! That always gets their hands going. Member Bank. Um, I'd like to have a meeting of the Committee of the Whole to discuss um, uh, the uh, end finance, I guess it is, the renewal of the city income tax on road repairs and then some miscellaneous also. Member Butler. Thank you, sir. Uh, Arts, Parks, and Recreation. Uh, brief, uh, perhaps presentation by the birth circle regarding uh, a bench at uh, Sells Park. Okay. Do I see you? Anybody over here? Member Gauz? Yes, we might um, have a visitor from CFI next week to tell us what they've been up to the past year. And we may add in finance. We generally do, but for now, well, well, that's she mentioned finance. Well, yeah, it's fine. And okay. city, maybe city services, depending if Andy Stone's ready. Okay. Whatever it is. Whatever the name is this time. We move on to an opportunity for citizens to speak on any legislative items or city services that we did not cover on tonight's agenda. Is there anyone wishing to speak before council? Seeing none and having had addressed all items on our agenda, we are adjourned. Thank you.